Welcome back to another Is It Keto Friendly? So today's product is going to be the protein shake to see if it's ketogenic. Now, my usual lead up is I generally do these tests at least two hours after a weight training session as it's well documented that any form of exercise will typically raise your blood sugar levels and lower your ketone levels. But in light of that, with a protein shake, most people want to use this post-workout as a tool. Whether or not it's beneficial is still debatable. So for today's experiment of about 15 minutes post-workout after a uh, 15 to 20 rep leg day, so it'll be interesting to see what my blood sugar and blood ketone levels are at. Now, prior to that workout, I had a bulletproof coffee, but apart from that, I've been fasting. So we've got the blood sugar level, interestingly enough, at 3.8 millimoles, which is very low. And it's currently 20 past 10. And we've got the blood ketone levels at 0.2 millimole. So like I said, it's very common after any sort of exercise that your blood ketone levels will be lower. And in that two hour period following, typically the blood ketone levels will continue to rise. But anyway, that's the baseline for this experiment. So this protein powder is a, um, it's quite a clean protein that I've had from a previous time prior to being ketogenic. So let's just look at the nutritional panel. So per 100 grams, you've got 80 grams of protein, five grams of total fat, and 5.6 grams of carbohydrate with five grams of sugar. So it's 5% sugar. It does include some sweeteners in there, but um, as far as clean proteins go, this is about as clean as it gets. And for today's experiment, we're going to do a 40 gram serve because you gotta get your 40 grams of protein post-workout to create that muscle synthesis. So here's one I prepared with the 40 grams of protein powder and water. Just give that a bit more of a shake. That sound there, that brings back memories to a couple of years ago. Anyway, let's have a taste of this vanilla whey protein. And like I say, it actually does taste quite sweet. Um, that's the artificial sweetener, but it tastes okay. As far as being vanilla, my preferred flavor was always chocolate. Before I finish this, let's just take a look at the ingredient profile. So ingredients, you've got the protein blend, whey protein isolates, whey protein concentrate, natural and artificial flavors and natural sweeteners which is steviol so like I said as far as protein powders go this is about as clean as they get you don't want to be purchasing a protein powder full of carbohydrates because you're just paying for sugar anyway but that's just my take on it let's finish this one off So there you have it, the post-workout shake. I'll wait two hours, test my blood sugar and ketone levels again, and we'll see what the effect is. I'll see you in two hours. Welcome back. So a little disclaimer on this video. As you all should be aware by now, I'm a huge proponent of a keto carnivore approach. Myself, 17 months plant-free, feeling and performing at my peak. But I also understand that what works for me may not work for you. And it's a big game of trial and error to find your keto sweet spot. Now, in saying that, over the last two years of being ketogenic, I've managed to improve my performance. I've managed to put on weight. I've managed to lose weight. 
and the healthiest I've ever been, I haven't needed the use of a protein shake. So I really believe that you should focus on a real food ketogenic style of diet. But like I say, that's what I found works best for me. And that's my opinion. Anyway, in saying that, let's see what the blood sugar and blood ketone levels have done in that two hour time frame. So firstly, the blood sugar has risen from 3.8 to 4.0 millimole. So it hasn't risen much at all. And my blood ketones have risen from 0.2 to 0.7 millimole. So like I said, typically post-workout after weight training, your ketones will climb within that two hour period. And as I can see here, it's shown that the protein shake has not had a negative impact. So at this stage, I'll say that the whey protein is indeed ketogenic. So maybe it could be something that you can incorporate into your ketogenic lifestyle. But like I always say, this is what's happened for me on today's circumstances, and you'll need to uh, trial this for yourself. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.